Our buddy, John Dan, PTS Dan, how are we doing, Dan? Hey, John, good. Yourself? Excellent. So I want to talk about diet goals, dieting goals, <laughs> and <Okay>. sales goals. <laughs> and sure, why not? Why not? Um, what got me thinking about this was our, our son wrestled somewhat in high school. And if you know anything about wrestling, teenagers' behavior around making weight can oftentimes be insanely bad. Meaning they will they will starve themselves. They'll they'll wrap themselves in trash bags and go for a run and all kinds of things. So you can have dieting goals. How you're trying to get there really matters. And are you doing the right things in the right way and all that good stuff? And it got me thinking about the sales side. So we have sales goals. And the question is, are you going about doing things the right way day in and day out? Or are you taking an approach of trying to scrunch a lot into a very short period of time? Are, are you cutting corners, that sort of thing? So can you talk about those goals and some of the things you've seen salespeople do, good or bad, to get there? Or things I've done, good or bad, Because right? <laughs> I've made a lot of that. mistakes. And, yeah. and let's, let's talk about general things in life first, if you don't mind. Sure. So not using the trying to lose weight or gain weight for wrestling, because that's a very specific moment. Of it, time. it is. It is. Let, let's talk about someone who decides, hey, you know what? If I lose 25 pounds, I will feel healthy. Or if I make an extra $50,000, I will feel more successful, right? It, it, sure. It's those types of correlations that we have to look at. And, and I, I was someone who at one point was on the Atkins diet and I lost 30, 35 pounds, right? And I felt great. And then over time, I gained that all back. And you hear that time and time again with people that have gone on diets and stuff, they gain it back. Or people that make an extra $50,000 this year and, and over the next couple of years, their income slides back down to where they were. Why does that occur? It, it occurs because we think that by acting a certain way, we're going to feel a certain way. What needs to happen is we have to feel a certain way and then the actions follow. So for example, if I want to lose 50 pounds, rather than think of all the things I need to do to lose 50 pounds, start thinking to myself, what does a healthy person eat and feel like? How does a healthy person act? What does a healthy person read? What are they doing in their spare time? What, what are the menus that they're, what's a healthy person like? And yep. then guess what? You become that. If you want to make more money, view yourself already there and go, all right, someone who makes, I don't know, 100,000 or 200, what are they like? What are they reading? Where do they go for movies? What kind of books do they read? What kind of YouTube podcasts do they listen to? Whatever. Start acting like that person and you will get there. So uh, what I'm trying to get at here is we've got to take certain parts that aren't working and throw them away and start start believing that we're already there or we're going to be there and then everything follows suit. And I, I think what you mentioned earlier about the the dieting side, and you referenced your own experience with Atkins is too often we think of when, when we've got a goal out there and we hit it, it's more of a finish line. Yeah. And, and that really is what pulls us then back to almost sometimes all the way back where we started, but certainly gets us away from the goal because we stopped doing the behaviors that got us there in the first place because we think now we can do whatever. Mm -hmm. And it ends everything for us. So if you want to work four days a week instead of five, start. And then you'll start finding out the things you need to cut back on. Start yeah. researching it. How do I do this? What can I look at? As opposed to going, oh my goodness, how am I going to do right? And you start coming up with all these plans that may or may not work. Just do it. Yeah. Start yes. acting that way. Yeah, and what somebody taught me is, it, and it came up around the dieting side, not wrestling related or anything else, but somebody that was working through it, and somebody that had had yo-yoed for a while. So they would do a diet, they'd get there, they'd bounce back, and and done this over over many years. And she walked me through, she's like, it's, it's probably six or seven times I've gotten to wow. the goal and then I fall back. And she said, what I realized finally was, when I hit the goal, I need a new plan. Hmm. And because I'm not trying to get to zero weight, but I need a new plan. And unfortunately I'd get to the goal and I, I'd, I'd feel like I could now do all the things that I wasn't able to do before to get to the weight loss. And that's where the, the change occurred for her. That's so, pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. See you in a moment.